I do see a lot of people ask, well, how do you change your thumbnail on your YouTube video, especially after you've uploaded it on mobile? So I, in this video, I thought I would show you how to do that. So I've got my iPhone out. You need to have your thumbnail ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Adobe Express. That's what I use. And I'm gonna go down here to your stuff, which is technically my stuff. <laughs> and I'm just gonna click this one right here. It's one I created, actually AI created this inside of Adobe Express. Isn't that crazy? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit download at the very top. And yes, just gonna download that one. And we're going to give it full access because it has to go somewhere. So I just send it to my photos. Still on the phone, we're gonna go to the YouTube app. Not the YouTube Studio app, but the YouTube app. I don't know if you can do this on the Studio app. I don't have that on my phone. So we're gonna open YouTube, let it launch. You're gonna go to your, your profile, go one more, and then you see manage videos. We're gonna click on that. And then all you need to do now is find the video that you want to change the thumbnail. So we're gonna use this one right here, this fourth one that says teletest. And there's three dots to the far right hand side. Click that, see edit, click edit. Now, this is the step that might be a little hard to find or even skip, but in the upper left hand corner, of the, of the frame there, there's a little bitty thumbnail icon. Do you see that? If I click on that, then you see basically the same thing you would get on desktop where it has the three default frames, but we wanna do custom thumbnail. I'm gonna click that and it's gonna automatically go to my photo reel. I'm gonna click that one. Remember, that's the one we downloaded from Adobe Express. I'm gonna hit select and there it is. And this is the important part. You have to hit save. And there it is. So remember the key is you need a thumbnail to upload. So even if you don't do a custom one like I do in Adobe Express, and if you wanna check out Adobe Express, I'll put a link to that down in the description, but maybe it's a photo or something like that. You're still gonna to need to get into your photo library for that, upload it, and remember to hit save. Now, if you're also wondering how to upload it on your desktop, check out the video coming up now along with some of the other videos. And remember to keep creating, because the world needs you.